guys, it's Doc's Market Minute for Friday, May 22nd. All I've heard for the past couple of weeks is, is the, the Dow theory and how fragile the transports are. So I'm looking at a chart of the monthly, weekly, and daily time frames of the transports here. And yes, we're getting close to seeing at 10% haircut, which is this yellow line here, this 10% correction. But you'd have to say that if there is a kinder, gentler way for this chart to make a correction, it's doing precisely that. It's correcting through time and price. So in effect, what this is doing is just building a bull flag on the monthly chart. And it's doing it in the most laid back manner possible. So yes, it is currently in a weekly downtrend. We have lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. But this is all just a pullback on the monthly chart. This is all this is. And after this rip roaring move in 2014 up to the top, as oil prices dropped out of the sky, so obviously the transports would benefit from something like that, we had a severe exhaustion condition on this monthly chart. And this is typically what we see when a chart reaches for the sky like this and just goes absolutely vertical. But typically when you have something like this, you get a really bad reaction on the backside of this. And so far this has not happened. So the fact that this is just coming down, closing in on that 10% haircut and doing it in a very genteel manner is actually quite positive for the market. Now the whole idea behind this, if we look at the Dow Industrials, is the Dow Industrials are the companies that build products and the transports are those that ship them. Well, this was really kind of the theory back in the 1930s, 1940s or so, when it was a much more industrial economy. But I don't really follow that as much anymore, just simply because the U.S. economy is more than just building things. It's also creating services. It's also creating technologies. So to me, I'd be much more concerned if I started to see the technology, like the NASDAQ composite, start to really crater. And it's not right now. It's still rising within this wedge, which is a little bit of a concern because it's such a high and tight wedge that we're seeing here. So if this does break, it could be very fast. But this is kind of a musical chairs market. As long as the music keeps playing, we should continue playing along. And we will know, trust me, we will know when the character changes of this market and we have to change our approach. So guys, don't forget Monday is a U.S. market holiday, and it's not just barbecue day. Please understand why we are taking a day off on Monday for Memorial Day. It's very, very important. Thanks for listening. We'll see you back here on Tuesday. Take care. Have a great weekend.